name is William and under the direction of Dr. Benjamin Salento, I want to go over with you today on how to properly use the Neomed Squeeze Bottle. The Neomed Squeeze Bottle is a great tool for universal nasal health, especially after a procedure with Dr. Ben Salento. This will be a crucial part of your recovery and it's a must to know how to use it. So now I just want to go over with you. Let's get started. The Neomed Squeeze Bottle can be purchased at any local drugstore or as well as a grocery store in the pharmacy section. I want to show you what the packet looks like so that you have an idea of what to look for when you're going to purchase it. Inside of this package, you'll find salt packets as well as the actual bottle. As you can see, the bottle has a black line right here. And this is where you will be filling up with the steel water. Now, bottle water is okay if you're traveling, but the steel water is preferred. So, First thing that you'll do is that you will take this cap out and try to lay it somewhere where it's clean so it doesn't get dirty. And then you'll take some distilled water and fill it all the way up to the black line. Once you have filled the Neomed Squeeze bottle up to the black line as directed, uh, you will put one of these salt packets uh, into the bottle. Please do not forget to put in the salt packet. Uh, if you do not put the salt packet in the water, it will be very uncomfortable, it will burn, and you will not have a pleasant experience. So it's very important that you do not forget to put this in before using the bottle. So once you have poured it in, you will close the bottle, and then you can just tilt it side to side to get the contents all mixed in. in there. All right, so if you're having a procedure with Dr. Salento, specifically a balloon sinuplasty, or a balloon sinuplasty has been suggested at the beginning of your visits, we will be sending to a specialty pharmacy an antibiotic and a steroid that will go into this bottle. Sometimes they can be separate. The steroid can be in a liquid form and the antibiotic in a capsule form and both go into this. But at times they will also send it in one little capsule and both the steroid and the antibiotic are combined. So you will make up the salt water just like I showed you by adding the water in the salt packet that comes in the Neomed packet. In addition, to the medication that will be sent to you by the specialty pharmacy. All right, so now that we have put in the salt packet and I have talked to you about uh, putting the medication into your solution bottle, the last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is putting a tiny little drop of baby shampoo into the Neomed Squeeze bottle. Studies have actually shown this to be very effective, and so I just wanna share this with you so that you are aware that this is also something you can do. It's very important though that you use baby shampoo because it doesn't have all the chemicals that a regular shampoo does, and it's actually very soothing to the nose, and it acts as a surfactant, and it cleans up a lot of the gunk that might be stuck in the nose. So, what you'll do, is add just a tiny little dollop. Remember, not a lot, it's just a tiny little drop. When you're mixing that into the bottle, you do not want to vigorously shake, but you want to just swirl it around just like this, and allow the baby shampoo to dissolve into the solution that we have made up. This is very effective and we highly recommend it, especially if you're a Dr. Salento patient. So, now that we have added all of our cont contents into the bottle, I wanna show you and go over with you on how to properly rinse and how to properly use the bottle. So, so you can see there's this little orifice and this orifice will go into one of your nostrils. You do not want to plug up your nostril, you just want the other nostril, you want to leave it open. You want to keep your head perpendicular to the ground. You do not want to tilt your head back, I mean forward or backwards, just keep it neutral, all right? So what you'll do is that you will take a deep breath in through your mouth and then as you're squeezing, you're going to breathe out. Do not blow your nose, especially if you've had a procedure, all right? Blowing your nose will cause damage to the inside of the nose if you have a procedure. And so you do not want to blow, it's just gently breathing out. When I do it, it's going to sound like I'm blowing my nose, but it's literally just the sound that it makes. I'm not blowing my nose, I'm literally taking a deep breath in and then slowly breathing out through my nose as I squeeze. So it has to be a coordinated movement. It's gonna take some time and a few tries for you to get it right but as you practice, the better you'll get. As I mentioned before, you're going to lean over the sink with your head neutral. It's going to sound like I'm blowing my nose, but I'm not blowing my nose, I'm just breathing out. So you'll take the orifice, you'll put it into this nostril. You'll take a deep breath in. And then as I squeeze, I'm going to be breathing out my nose, not my mouth, my nose. So.
All right, so now that I have used about half of my bottle, I'm going to switch to the other side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Breathe in, and then squeeze and blow out, uh, and breathe out my nose. So now that I have gone over with you on how to use the Neomed squeeze bottle, I just wanna go over with you some key points. Remember, nasal rinsing, it's a great prescription for good universal nasal health. Just like we brush our teeth every night, we should be rinsing our nose every night since the nose is the main filtering system of our body. Also, another key thing is just wanna go over with you the steps again of rinsing. Keep your head level. You don't have to bend it. Remember that you are able to control how much flow you get into the nose. So if it's going to the back of your throat or your ears, you're squeezing too hard. Just back off the squeezing a little bit. Also remember, you want to breathe in through your mouth and then breathe out through your nose. It may sound like I'm blowing my nose, but I am not blowing my nose. I am simply breathing out my nose. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.